The historians I most admire, Macaulay and Gibbon among them, have been great writers as well as great scholars. They have excited the imagination as well as the intellect. I've tried as far as I can to emulate them. History, after all, is a story. It's a story of action, of battle, of characters and loves and motives and rebellions. It's also a picture of the great general drama of the human spirit. That's why it must inspire and exult in equal measure. The first historians, after all, were poets. Academic historians have an important role and purpose, but all too often they speak to one another. I want to speak to the general public, and I want to introduce them to the long story of England. I want to take them from Stonehenge to Winchester, from St Albans to Carlisle, from Manchester to Bodmin Moor. This volume begins with the prehistoric past of our country, the evidence for which still survives all around us. And then we go on to the tribes and tribal groupings of the Iron and Bronze Ages. This in turn leads to the age of the invasions, the Romans, the Saxons and the Danes, who culminate in the invasion of William I. Now, the Norman and Angevin kings were known for their brutality and rapacity, but they were followed by the long line of Plantagenet kings in which the great glories of the medieval age emerged. In their long period, medieval culture and medieval art came fully to flower. They were in turn replaced by the first Tudor monarch, Henry VII, and at his accession, this first volume comes to an end. Yet there's more to the story of England than its kings and queens. There is also the story of the land and its people. In a number of chapters, I've tried to explore the generally unseen world of the ordinary people with their customs and their traditions, their superstitions and their legends. I visited their houses and their farms, their prisons and their chapels. I've traveled down their roads. I've gone into their towns, their villages and their cities. And I hope in the process, I've created a tapestry as rich as it is detailed. And I hope it's one that will persuade the reader that this is a world worth re-examining. <laughs>